strange news and anomalies continue to come out surrounding 3i Atlas. In this video, we'll look at new reports that 3i Atlas could have potentially changed its course, which obviously would mean that it's by not natural causes. They're saying maybe it could be with different explosions while it's on the backside of the sun currently blocked from Earth. But if it changes a lot, which some reports are saying it is, then that indicates that something else is going on there. We'll also look at while 3 Atlas is behind the sun, again, out of our view, massive explosions are randomly happening around 24 hour intervals on it, um, on the back of the sun towards 3 Atlas. So there's a lot of strange news. There's anomalies surrounding this that we'll look into. And just uh, some, of the, some of the interesting stuff coming out surrounding this object. So first off, this uh, to kind of set the stage, because it is important to know that while this is all going on, here we have this article saying any images of the interstellar comet through Atlas are considered NASA wide news because the federal government has shut down communications of NASA news have been suspended. So due to the government's shutdown, they weren't able to, um, you know, they weren't able to take pictures supposedly of this comet when it was closest and they had the best op opportunity to. But somehow they're getting together now and working together even through the government shutdown to set up the International Asteroid Warning Network, which has initiated a campaign to monitor 3i Atlas for the first time. So things are changing in this direction. And because NASA has been shut down or they've at least not been giving us information and images and videos, even though they actually have been taking it and they just haven't been releasing it, this has led to personal people having to go out and do this like this guy here. Dobsonian and Power has released some of the most um, newest images of this object that we've seen. So that's what's kind of going on in relation to that. Now, this article, this news has kind of come out for a bit now, talking about uh, interstellar object through Atlas grows an anomalous anti-tail, how the tail was moving in a direction unlike anything we've seen with any other comet in the past. And again, of course, we've only seen a few interstellar objects even ever at all, but the, according to the comets that we know and how they act, it has a tail moving in a direction that we haven't seen. That's one of the anomalies. We'll look at some more in just a moment, but this video on the Angry Astronaut YouTube channel has um, some pretty information, uh, pretty interesting information in regards to this whole new theory that 3i Atlas changes course. So let's listen to a few minutes of this video, then move to some of these anomalies and the uh, coronal mass ejections that are hitting 3i Atlas right now at 24 hour uh, intervals. But in any event, the reason I'm reporting on it is because what they say is happening with 3i Atlas seems to correspond to a decision to start monitoring it a lot more closely because its trajectory isn't what was anticipated. So and again, quickly, that's in relation to this here, the International Asteroid Warning Network now uh, closely monitoring 3i Atlas, and it sounds like that's in relation to the fact that it looks like it's potentially changed its trajectory course. Let's go ahead and relate what these folks had to say. On October 21st, 2025, while tracking interstellar object 3i Atlas through observational data, including astronomical evidence and multiple analysis testing, something became immediately obvious. The object wasn't where NASA's JPL Horizon system said it should be. JPL's official prediction placed 3i Atlas at right ascension 13 hours, 46 minutes, 57.51 seconds and declination at negative 8 degrees, 15 minutes, 20 seconds, using astrometric reference frames. However, their observations calculated right ascension 13 hours, 47 minutes, 54.3 seconds, and declination of negative 8, 21 minutes, 16.2 seconds. The discrepancy is 15.4 arc minutes, which is absolutely enormous for an object in the night sky. It is interesting, too, that some people are saying, like Avi Loeb and others, all the anom anomalies surrounding this object and just the fact that it's when it gets closest to the sun in general is when we are exactly opposite of the sun and we can't view, view the object while it's that close to the sun. I mean, it would technically have to, but the Earth could be here. It could be literally anywhere else, but it's precisely perfectly to where we can't see the object. That's one of the anomalies. And when you add them all up, it starts to get into like a factor and a massive number where it's like there's so many anomalies surrounding this object that it seems like it's a uh, little more strange than just something coming from interstellar space. And of course, for me personally, believing the Bible, prophecies, end time signs, supernatural things that are going to happen in the future, I feel this is either 
a foreshadowing of things to come, a preconditioning of things to come, or maybe even part of just the times that we're headed into with fearful sights in the heavens and things happening in the sun, moon, and stars. At three I Atlas's distance of 2.38 astronomical units, which is 356 million kilometers, this angular offset translates to roughly 1.1 million kilometers of lateral displacement. That's almost 20 times the deviation that was observed with Amuamua when it started to accelerate out of the solar system. And also for perspective, that's nearly three times the Earth-Moon distance. But here's what made it extraordinary. The distance measurement was perfect, the same two 0.38 astronomical unit reading. We were looking at the right object at the right range, just at the wrong location. If our observation software we are using is outdated orbital data, perhaps from July or August before JPL's October 10th update, you'd expect 3i Atlas to appear behind its actual position. Old predictions always lag reality because they underestimate velocity or miss gravitational nudges. And I agree with that. As 3i Atlas gets closer to the sun, it should start accelerating because the sun's gravitational influence continues to increase on the object as it gets closer. The three I Atlas appeared ahead, not behind, ahead. Same distance, different sky position. This breaks the rules of orbital mechanics unless something pushed it sideways. So we decided to keep watching and guess what happened? The gap grew even wider. By 1905 UTC, 19 hours after our first observation measurement, we captured another position reading. Right ascension 13 hours, 46 minutes, 20.4 seconds. Declination negative 8 degrees, 14 minutes, 24.2 seconds. Interpolating GPL's predictions for that exact time, 3i Atlas should have been at roughly right ascension 13 hours, 46 minutes, 56 seconds. Declination negative 8 hours, 8 minutes, 32 seconds. With a new discrepancy of 10.5 arc minutes. The gap had already widened by over four arc minutes in less than a day. The object wasn't just off course. We believe it's actively diverging from gravitational predictions at a rate of 0.23 arc minutes per hour. To maintain this divergence requires approximately 3.95 kilometers per second of lateral velocity that gravity alone cannot explain. As a matter of fact, that's a significant deviation that rocket engines would have a hard time accomplishing, especially with an object as huge as 3i Atlas. Now, this group made a couple of other observations about the morphology of 3i Atlas. So again, there is some science and numbers and math and stuff in all that, and even some of it's starting to get lost for me. But then what you start to hear is that the deviation course of the object 3i Atlas is growing to such an extent compared to what they were computing that it that just like he said, I mean, he started, you started to hear bits and pieces through it of like exactly what is going on. At least I did that. It was, there's parts it's growing in such a way and the trajectory is changing in such a way that even fuel rockets would have a hard time to move the object that much. So it almost appears as if something artificial is moving this object. And of course, if that's the case, then, well, I mean, this is completely earth shattering and changing in so many ways because that means something is behind this object it's not just a rock or you know whatever flying through space which again for me personally would fall into what i believe is coming upon the earth alien deception the supernatural signs and the end times bible prophecies that god has warned us about and i think it will play into this the stuff this type of stuff with an alien deception i believe that will be revealed to the earth and i think we're even starting to see um evidence of that now but um more videos on that on my channel so again, this is just interesting how this asteroid is, or just how this, this object is moving through space. And it appears, according to this new report, that it's, it's moving in a way that is unlike, unlike anything. It's even beyond what, with the technology that we have to make it to change that direction, or at least it would be hard for us to do. Pretty interesting and pretty strange. Atlas patterns being seen in the coma, geometric sorts of shapes, that sort of thing, according to different astronomical observations, mostly being made by backyard astronomers with Dobsonian telescopes, that sort of thing. But I'm not inclined to talk a whole lot more about that because we humans have a tendency of seeing these sorts of patterns, geometric shapes, whatever, in natural objects. Until I So he goes on to really talk about, and again, he's got a great channel. He's talked a lot about um, the 3i, 3i Atlas stuff, the Angry Astronaut YouTube channel. 
And so, yeah, it appears that, and kind of like he said, the, the Dobsonian power, like this guy here who's been getting videos and images, some of the newest that we've had since the government shutdown and NASA's not releasing the images. And again, they even said that they had images from some of their telescopes and they weren't releasing it to the public. Why are they not releasing some of these images to us? And now people are having to do it on YouTube, on YouTube Live. So it's kind of crazy. But, you know, he goes into that report and views it through a way that we all should, where Maybe this is, we have to look more and see exactly what is going on. This is according to this group's mathematics and their observations. They could potentially be off. But if this is, if this is exactly what is going on, then something huge is associated with this object. And again, it's acted in ways unlike anything compared to the interstellar objects that we've seen in the past. And we've only seen a couple anyway. And in this video here, just posted... Uh, yesterday, Avi Loeb explains some of the anomalies surrounding this object, which, which make it at least appear to us, or at least makes it be set up in a way to where we should pay more attention to it, because it is operating unlike anything that we've seen in the past. And so it's really important to consider seriously events that you think have a low likelihood, but would have major implications. And in this case, alien technology could affect the future of all of us. And therefore, we must consider it seriously. Mm -hmm. Even though we haven't encountered it before, we just don't know how much traffic there is because only over the past decade we started detecting interstellar objects. We didn't have telescopes that can do that before. And so I suggest that we will monitor each and every interstellar object, especially those that have anomalies. In fact, 3 Atlas has eight anomalies. It's very big. It's at least a thousand times more massive than previous interstellar objects. It's also in the plane of the planets around the sun. And, you know, the chance of that happening at random is one in 500. It showed the unusual composition. Uh, only 4% water it has nickel with very little iron, the way that the industrial production of nickel alloys uh, appear. Uh, and, um, you know, it also appeared from uh, the same direction as the wow signal that was detected in 1977. So uh, there are definitely a lot of reasons for us to consider it seriously. You know, the chance of all of these anomalies coming together is one in... It, 10 to the power 16, you know, like each of them has a percent level or less than a percent likelihood, and there are eight of them. It's really a small probability that we will see all of these anomalies. I'm not saying it's necessarily alien tech, but I do recommend that uh, you take your vacation <laughs> early rather than later because, you know, our Maybe lives too late. I, it's interesting. <laughs> yeah, I knew Avi. And Avi Loeb has been saying that in the past. So he, he recommends people take their vacation sooner than later because if this thing is some interstellar object from another planet and it's some alien tech, it could be here too, you know, according to someone like him, who I don't believe probably believes that the Bible prophecies are going to unfold that the way that they will, that he thinks the possibility of an alien takeover, an alien planetary attack is a possibility. Now, that type of thing could play into the world scenario, but it will be a deception associated, in my opinion, with the Antichrist, the beasts, and the last day's prophecies that are potentially being set up at this very moment. And in my opinion, again, 100% connected to this whole alien ufo phenomenon now this is other some other in interesting news surrounding this object and again three atlas is behind the sun right now we can't see it again it's another anomaly that it just even lines up in that way and the perfect timing of that and this says here that the third cme coronal mass ejection launches directly towards three i atlas this is not a one-off or a coincidence at this point it's a clear repeated trend with a frequency of about 24 hours in between secession explosions on the far side of the sun. Now, you could theorize if it was some sort of alien tech. Again, I don't really believe in aliens from other planets. In fact, I don't. I think there's fallen angels and demonic forces and things like this at work, and they could be involved out there in the heavenly places like Ephesians 6.12 tells us. But then uh, what people are probably alluding to in this whole thing is that maybe this they, they have the technology to cause the sun to do bursts like this, these coronal mass ejections are somehow fueling their ship. We've seen the images before in the past of the craft that has uh, shown up around the sun on at least two occasions. I'll put up on the screen here where when there's a coronal mass ejection, you can see that there was a craft or something, an anomaly at least, around the sun appearing to may maybe receive energy from the sun. So again, in my opinion, the world is very supernatural. We're starting to see these things unfold more and more interesting things, anomalies, phenomenon is just becoming regular in our world, in our society now. And it appears that maybe 3 Eye Atlas has some of this stuff going on as well. And again, in my opinion, this stuff is connected to the Bible. Jesus is the truth. The Bible is the truth. Look into it and you will see for yourself that 
That is the ultimate truth. Thanks for watching. God bless.